the search for the normal in the transverse dimension. Let us define the norms again. In the sagittal dimension, it is normal to have a 2 mm of overjet and an angles class 1 molar relation. In the vertical dimension, a 2 mm of overbite is the norm. Anything more than this is a deep bite and anything less is called an open bite. But what about the norm in the transverse dimension? Do we have a normal in this dimension? We need to know what is normal because only then we can know what is abnormal. Let us look at the banker's transverse norm. When the intercanine width is the same as the intermolar width, a one in one is to one ratio, it is a normal arch in the transverse dimension. This norm has many advantages. When it is 35 to 38 mm, it can accommodate all teeth without crowding. It is easy to visualize chair side aid for diagnosis. There is no need to have radiographs. It helps in differentiating between the narrow and the broad palates. It is useful for treatment planning for orthodontic and surgical procedures. As it is a ratio, it can be used universally regardless of caste, creed or races. It can be used in sleep studies, in forensic studies and in anthropological studies. To know more, look up our papers and contact us for more information. Thank you.